Hi, I'm Carol Michaels. I'm the creator of the Recovery Fitness Cancer Exercise Program. And in today's video, I will show you some exercises that you can do to help improve lower body lymphedema. For those of you who are recovering from cancer surgery and treatments, one of the side effects that you may have is lymphedema or swelling. And this swelling can be in a body part, typically near an area where lymph nodes have been removed or radiated. So we'll start off today by lying down and doing some nice deep breathing exercises. Lie comfortably on your back and try to have a pillow under your head if that's more comfortable for you. Place your hands on your lower abdominal area. Fan your fingers out around the navel. We'll start by inhaling through the nose, filling up the entire body with air, not just the lungs. Have the whole abdominal area raise up high and then exhale out through the mouth, getting all the air out of the body. Inhale. And exhale. On your exhale, really feel your abdominals pressing downward. One more time, inhale. And exhale. The abdominal area is a lymph center, and that's why a lot of the exercises that we perform for lymphedema will involve compressing the abdominal area in order to pump the lymph fluid around the body so it doesn't stagnate. Let's begin working on improving lower lymphedema by raising one leg up. We're going to point and flex the foot. Switch to the other leg, raise the leg up, and point and flex. You may have lymphedema on one side or both sides. Today we'll demonstrate exercises using both limbs. Switch legs, and we'll add some ankle circles. reverse the direction. So when you're doing these ankle circles, make sure you're doing them as large as you can. You can actually feel the calf muscles contracting. And switch to the other leg for ankle circles. Now it's a good idea to have a bench or a stack of pillows next to you. You're going to place both feet on your bench or any type of area that's elevated. So hopefully the fluid will start to drain this way. We'll take one leg, bring the knee in and extend the leg out. Let's alternate legs. Now bring the knee in towards you with a little outward or external rotation. Let's now bring one leg up. We're going to raise it up 
We're going to flex the foot for five seconds and then point the toe. Once again, flex two, three, four, five, point the toe and flex two, three, four, five, point the toe. Switch to the other leg, raise the leg up and flex two, three, four, five, point the toe, flex two, three, four, five, point the toe, and flex two, three, four, five. With one leg remaining on the elevated surface, raise one leg up, the leg should be straight, but if your flexibility does not permit, it's fine to have the knee bent. And we're going to circle the leg. It's a very small circle, but this way we are using leg and abdominal muscles in the hope of draining the fluid downward. Change directions. And place the leg back on the elevated surface. Switch to the other leg. Again, the leg can be straight or a little knee bend. And we're going to circle the leg. It's a small controlled circle. Change directions. Place the leg on the elevated surface. Let's now raise the hips off the ground just a little bit and back off. So we're going to raise them off the floor and back on. And now slide yourself closer to the elevated surface so that your knees are bent and now perform the same exercise. We're raising the body up and down. We're trying to get contraction in the muscle in order to pump or move the fluid upward. Our last exercise will be to raise the legs up and we're going to pump back and forth, really press forward and then Flex all the way back. So we feel like you're pumping those ankles and feet back and forth. And those are some exercises that we've been using with our clients to help them improve their lower body lymphedema. If you enjoy these exercises and are looking for more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Carol Michaels Fitness.